Hello, and welcome back to the Gaming Guild. Alex here with day 24 of Seven Days to Die. Uh, last time we went to the county jail, uh, cleared that out, so we're just turning that in now. Let's see, we have ooh, a military helmet, uh, nail gun. It's the most powerful nail gun, like, repair tool in the game. Uh, but I don't really sit there and repair during Blood Moons. Um, is, this would be really good in a you know, multiplayer game where, you know, four or five people are all fighting off zombies and one person's uh, rebuilding, keeping the place intact uh, during the fight. I'm going to go ahead and take this military helmet. And let's just see, he does have tier six. Let me turn off my flashlight really quick. That's always annoying. Um, let's see. Yep, they're all infested, clear. Kind of talked about that last time. Uh, but they are all far away. I have a Shotgun Messiah Here's Factory, that would be an interesting well, place to go for weapon parts for and you, probably man, ammo. Red Mesa Compound. Kind of funny because you know Black Mesa is uh, okay, Half Life. A uh, two bit somewhere. tower. On, you can do it. I have a task Another Red Ma Mesa compound. And the Finish. General Hospital. Well, there's They're so far away. I don't know if I want to. I'm sure the loot's Finish amazing. Friend, Let's just go ahead and do the Shotgun Messiah no Factory. What, um. Boy, this might end up being a two, two-parter episode of uh, going over there. Let's take everything off of this. Swap these guys out. We'll go ahead and sell this hood. And just to take a quick look and see what else he has available. And I don't think anything since yesterday. Yeah, that's fine. So 1.7 kilometers that way. Uh, let's go ahead, open up uh, our quests. Um, we also have open trade routes two kilometers away. And that is nearby. So, you know what? I think we're all set. Let's just go ahead and uh, start heading on out. Oh, we have a little bit of a horde here. Let's take care of them quickly. Come on. Should be a couple more of you somewhere. There we are. Is that all of you? I feel like I'm one shy. Well, I feel like since I'm going to be so far from my base, um, on this mission, I'm going to kind of make a little rule for myself, uh, not picking up junk. Uh, I really just want to pick up stuff that's going to be valuable to me. Uh, my junk chest is pretty full as it is. Um, I'm not really hurting for anything. Go ahead, uh, turn this off. Turn that off. And turn that on. I'm going to take uh, I don't know if there's going to be any food at a shotgun messiah factory. 
So I'm going to take three bacon and eggs just to be safe. Let's grab three teas. Um, should be good on ammo, but I just want to top that off. Okay. Be a really good time to have a motorcycle, uh, but we'll just try to see uh, how bad the uh, journey is. So yeah, we've been to this trader before, uh, back in like episode eight or something. Um, I think right after I got done with the first blood moon, I was like, okay, now I'll uh, go ahead to the trader um, after each tier. Uh, that you complete your trader will send you off to another trader to do a small mission it was you know minor amount of experience i think killing two zombies is more experience than this uh, but it's supposed to be a way so that you uh, see that there is other areas around you uh, there's another town um, they have their own trader so you feel like you can uh, just pick up and move somewhere else if you want to um, if you're playing in a really big multiplayer group where you actually aren't all on the same team uh, you can have different groups in different towns and then they don't feel like they're really uh, getting in each other's ways or stealing each other's loot um, even if you have rules of like hey we're not gonna like actively steal from you or uh, ruin your base or anything like that uh, you know it would be pretty easy to irritate the group if you, you know, you're both trying to go after the same location or anything like that. A lot of chickens on the road. bag a little bit of ammo Ooh, do 20% more damage to land claimed property <laughs> when I was just talking about uh, multiplayer and you know a healthy multiplayer would be not going after each other but uh, some people like the competitive play of it uh, I'm not much for a, a competitive game now, I like to compete against the computers, uh, not against other players. Um, usually by the end of a multiplayer game where you're competing against each other, somebody has hurt feelings. Uh, I've seen it destro destroy friendships before, so I just don't play them anymore. grab this chicken and I'm going to make arrows but drop the meat and bones and paper because I really don't need more of any of those so I feel like the shotgun messiah factory is a little to the right of me Actually, that might have been it. Let's see. How does that work? There's a button I could press. There we go. No, that's not it. Yeah, 
Yeah, if you uh, click, um, just primary click, uh, it switches between going wherever you look, you know, just like straight ahead to, oh, you can look around and then you use your uh, WASD to steer. Uh, but steering is a little tricky in this game. It's easier just to kind of go where you're looking. Just had a little rough patch of the streets, so skipped that. Hello, Trader Hugh. What surprise, surprise. So yeah, 550 that's experience, that's not much. And you know, I haven't done any missions for him, so he's still at tier one. But I can look at his inventory. And see, he has some high power ammo. Ooh, whole stack of 762. Um, I might buy that. Let's see, he does have a tactical warfare, so let's grab that. Ooh, quality 544 Magnum. I mean, I can make that, so I definitely don't need to get it, but just good to see. A little bit of variety. All right, let's go ahead and buy a whole stack of this ammo. And those damn things are good. selling like hotcakes. Okay. Has any of this reset? has. So I'll just check it for some basic supplies, mainly the books. Okay, that's good enough. Tier 6 infestation mission. Let's make it active. Hmm, feel like I heard something. Could just be a snake nearby. Now this will be interesting because we've already seen just how many zombies can be uh, at a tier 5 location, uh, just normally, you know, especially when the, the hordes pop out and I just get swarmed. If it's a true infestation, that means there's twice as many of them, uh, kind of why I'm taking twice as many bullets with me. That's a big location. Hopefully it just means that everything is above ground. I don't have to go down into a sub-level. Huh.
All right, let's do this. Now, I have been thinking about doing permadeath. Um, I know we took a death in episode four. Uh, and I'm glad I didn't have permadeath on for that. Um, I've been considering putting it back, putting it on uh, just to make it a little bit more intense. Uh, but then I would be too hesitant to try something like this uh, and lose just all the progress we've made so far. Yeah, my base would be there. Um, I might be able to sneak in and grab my guns from here if my loot bag lasted long enough. But I wouldn't even have a bicycle anymore. So uh, it would be pretty, pretty big setback. So I'm going to try to stealth through this only be like partly because I've never been here before. I have no idea what I'm uh, getting into. Uh, but also if it is, you know, tier six, uh, where it's like an uh, infestation of a tier five area, I really want to opt for stealth as much as possible. Please take that for now. Well, sewing kits definitely something that I want to opt to take. Ooh, Hunter mod. I do already have one of those, so I don't really need it. I don't really find animals too difficult in this one. So I'm going to do something. Uh, I am going to start keeping some cooking magazines on me. So that way if I do ever turn permadeath on and then die, or if I have somebody join me um, at some point, they can read some of these magazines and at least um, get up to being able to cook bacon and eggs again. Um, I know <laughs> it's kind of my go-to thing, uh, but it's really helpful to be able to cook that early on. Uh, eggs are easy to find, as you've seen. Meat's not too hard to get. All right, let's go ahead and drink some of this. And I'll eat a bacon and eggs. Yeah, that way, you know, if I die, I can get back up to make cooking bacon and eggs right away again. Uh, and then if uh, somebody joins me, they just don't have to rely on me for food, especially if I have a few people join me at some point and they just want to have a separate base just so that, you know, there's stuff going on in the game. We're outside.
Actually, not too bad. I'll take iron arrows just in case. Okay, that's not too bad. Back to my SMG. Right there. We have a key and we have a lower area. Before I go any further, let's come back here, let's see what this does. Yep, yep. Okay, I was expecting a swarm. Anybody in here? One box. Okay. Now, since I have all of the um, uh, pocket mods on, I don't even know if I'm getting close to this shot. One more. Okay, I'm just gonna leave him. Uh, oh yeah, because I have all the uh, pocket mods, um, no, I have the inventory space. It's not like picking up anything is bogging me down. 
so I'm not too worried about grabbing stuff like that pistol part even though I know, already know I don't need it um, it doesn't hurt to have it um, and just in my mind it's like all right I'm gonna drop that as soon as I uh, start getting over encumbered by other stuff Let's head back a little bit. So where do they, they make pipes here? That was the break room and showers. I checked the four. Oh, I need that. I'll just scrap it. I don't think I'm going to be picking up iron. I could because I am low on it as far as my smeltery goes. Okay, let's check this room. Hi. Some zombies outside that heard that. It doesn't surprise me. It's just gonna bug me if she's sitting there for so long.
I'm surprised I didn't have like some kind of trap to send zombies in there mid looting. Okay. Fall back a bit. Um, there you go. Who else? Quick reload. Move up a position. Just ignore the fact that I was completely missing that guy. So it looks like I have somebody just above me. I have no idea where you are. Alright, let's check these bags. Sure. 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 Where are you trying to break through? Look there. I bet I already have a military vest. Okay, gun rack. about that. Doesn't look like there's enough space above the ceiling tiles to get up there. What is this room? That's back there. I feel like this doesn't have anything else leading into it, so I don't want to check it. It could just lead back to a room I've already, already been in. Or it's the exit staircase. Okay. Well, I don't want to skip anything in the level because I have to clear all the zombies. Oh, 
I'll just make a mental note that I did find access to that. Nice. Light leads the way. Well, I don't see anything else out here. Let's keep going. I'm going to start with my assault rifle on this one. Somebody's not happy. I'm going to go that. I think it's time for a little bit of tea. Let's have this pasta.
And I'm gonna stay on my M60 for a little bit. Locked. Oh shit, drops. Nice. Um, all right. Level two of the factory. Oh, first time seeing that. Or that. Radiated those big guys. Alright, well we have fire in here. So it looks like I'm going to need to find three different red pipes. We better turn that off. Or just press the button. That works too. Uh, so, uh, if you remember a few episodes back, back in the town hall, uh, one of my biggest fears is being in a place that I can't escape from. Zombies didn't terrify me nearly as much as just being in the room. Okay. Back to this.
It bug me. There's some. Oh, they're running the long way. Can say are their pathfinding abilities that good? It's a long ways to run. Well, have to go deal with them. There they are. That's dealt with. Let's go you there. And can of stock. Stupid birds. Saw one earlier, but I can't see him now. There he is. Hmm. Okay. Move inside that tree. Come on.
that a snake? The snake's jumping. Got him. Remember that ladder before. You know what? I'm gonna investigate this really quick. Nine bullets. Hey, if that kills nine zombie zombies, it's worth it. Alright, let's jump back up. So I do need to keep an eye out for Red Valve now, unless it's going to be another button. Really, no zombies. Okay. So many bodies, I can't tell which one is the still a live one. I mean, they're zombies, so they're not alive, but you know what I mean. Get that activated. Ooh, pretty good uh, swarm there. They're a little jumpy. I feel like I'm missing something good here. So let's throw a block there. And then really? Nothing? Alright. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming. There's a button on the right side there.
but that's locked. Is it break easy? No. Okay. Huh. Okay. Well, I can't not go investigate that now. of magazine nice yeah. that was kind of an interesting way of going about getting some loot Interesting. All right. Is this door locked? Oh, no, it's unlocked. I guess I have access to the next floor at least. It left it unlocked because I'm not supposed to go up it anyways. Switch to the back to the M60 for a little bit. Parts, just because I can make lock picks out of them. safe. 
feel like I have to be getting close. There you are. That is an amazing ability there. So I'm getting really close to running out of time, but I feel like I have to be getting to the end of this level. So I think I'll go a little bit longer. Uh, just because I don't want to stop in the middle of the mission itself. Um, I'm actually going to be taking... Ooh, SMG uh, Quality 4. Nice. Um, I am going to be taking a break right after this to go cook some dinner for Kylie and I. So I won't be able to just keep going from where I was. Not too bad. Not almost done. Well, uh, I was going to cut it there. Um, I'll be right back in uh, day 25 with you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stop it here and then uh, keep going for a little bit. And then I'll take a break and I'll just uh, cut the next video into day 25. So I hope you all had fun. Thank you for joining me and I will see you all in the next adventure. Bye bye.